I got this reel if you guys want it. Oh no, why did I tell you to put that brush hog on? What is up Mavericks? Welcome back to another very exciting video. Myself and Cole Saw are doing a little bit of a challenge today. We are mixing it up. We're heading to the local store right now. And you guys are always complaining, saying, you know, when me and Cole Saw do challenges against each other, it's, it's kind of slided towards me because I do fish every day. I've been fishing my whole life. Cole's obviously a professional camera guy and he's a good stick, bar none, he catches a lot of fish. But his thing is cameras. I suck at that stuff, so that's what he does. Well, we're gonna do a fishing challenge today, but we're gonna level the playing field a little bit. Cole is gonna be using some very, very nice, expensive fishing reels, and I'm gonna purchase the cheapest bait casting reels that they have at the store. So I think that's gonna more than level the playing field. And it's gonna be a fun time out here today. By the way, and after the day, right down there below, you can see that comment. You know, it's one we picked out, and it's very simple. If you guys want to be the end for the day, all you gotta do is drop a comment below, be a subscriber, and turn on the notification bell. So a couple very, very easy steps. First things first, we got the boat hooked up behind us. We gotta go to the store right now, see what cheap garbage reels they have that probably are gonna explode when I set the hook on a giant fish. And then we're gonna go to the lake. Catch you guys there. All right, cool. So on the way up to the fishing department, what do you think is gonna be the cheapest bait casting reel that they have? $25. I know Walmart has like the Abu Garcia Black Max and stuff, which is like it's the biggest food. turd. The thing is, people like always ask, what's an entry level bait caster I can use? And I always tell them like, start nice because the cheap ones are cheap for a reason. You get what you pay for so much when you start fishing with a bait caster. I think that's like, that's every fisherman's struggle is we want to start off like, oh, I don't want to drop a bunch of money because I'm getting started. But then it's such a piece of crap. You're like, oh, I'm never going to figure this out. You get spun out forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start this disaster. Ooh, meat. Meat sticks. I feel like if I'm going to be cranking, I definitely want a line counter. All right, so the rules for the challenge today is we're going to a lake where we just fished our tournament. And there's a, a dragging bite, like a, a worm and a jig bite. And there's also a crankbait bite. And in order to do those, we want a slower gear ratio, like a six speed reel, and a faster, like a seven or eight speed reel. So Cole Slot's gonna use two of my like $500 reels. And then I am going to pick out two reels here, the cheapest possible ones to have that we can find. I'll show you guys what Cole Slot is gonna be using. So we're not gonna buy for this challenge. If, if this gets to what, 5,000 thumbs ups, then we'll come by and let's buy every reel over $400 here. Deal. So this is what Dickhead Coleslaw is going to be using. He's going to be using my Shimano Metanium and then one of my Daiwa cranking reels that's way overpriced as well. Um, we will not be getting anything from behind the glass here. We're going to be getting the cheapest things that there are. Black Max, I think it's going to need to be one of them. This is the cheapest one I've seen so far. Yeah. I think I did see some on sale dudes in the plastic wrapping over there. You saw some over there? I think it was like 40 bucks or something. Dude, this one's 150, but it's probably worth about 30 bucks. Does that count? That looks like junk. It does look like a pile. Every Dude, every one that I've ever used from the 13 has fallen apart on me. Shit always breaks on this thing. It's like we were talking about, the first reel you use is like $40. This one's $49.99. Abu Garcia Black Max. We might be using this guy for the crank reel. I have a feeling those gears might explode. Let's go to the plastic clam wrap guys over here. Now I said bait caster. We're not gonna make it that hard and go straight freaking 799 Zebco. Push button guy. Push button guy. We're not gonna do spin cast. It's like we got $50 flugers, $40 flugers, $60 lose, which again, probably worth about three cents. That's the one. What speed is this even? Ooh, it comes with knob covers. Perfect. Why would they put them on there? That they might get stolen off of them that way since this part's open apparently. Seven, three to one, perfect. So the point of the challenge today is we're gonna see if these will even hold up and if I can even catch a fish on them. Truth be told, I'm probably not gonna catch any fish on them. So either we're gonna give these away to some kid we see on the bank at the lake or give them away to you guys. So stick around to the end and um, watch me destroy these. I think we're ready for you, my man. Can we get this uh, Black Max in the right hand version? Sure. That'd be great. This is probably the last time you guys are gonna see me that I won't be drenched in sweat. It's like 95, hotter than balls. We just got to the lake. Here's what we ended up with for reals. We ended up with the Fluger, what is this? The Tryon, which uh, I think that's gonna be my dragging flipping reel. This was 40 bucks, so never tried one of those. Don't really have high hopes. I barely even used a Fluger before. And then we got, of course, the Abu Garcia Black Max in six, four to one. Look at that beast right there. That's gonna be my crankbait reel. Honestly, I don't feel too terrible about this. For 90 bucks, we got two reels. I don't think it'll hold up very well, but 
could be interesting. I did a challenge a long time ago with a Black Max spinning reel coal. Really? The thing is though, it might be like two hours before we're able to launch the boat because the single lane boat ramp, I don't know if you guys can catch this, there's a fucking sailboat right there. He could go on either side of the dock or a different dock right there. Cole, should we just run him over with the boat? We should do something. I don't know what he's doing. Um, that's sweat just dripping off of me already. So I'm about to do a live stream thing with Tackle Warehouse for iCast. I'm excited for that, showing off the Six Sense Axis and the Vega Frog. But once again, we might never get on the lake, so we'll see. All right, old Cole Pole got my two reels lined up, spooled up, ready to rock. We're going worm on the Dragon one with the old Fluger try on and then with the the deep the black max we're going deep crank so it'll probably explode it um we <laughs> didn't have enough line had some issues with that uh don't know if it's going to cast off cole probably sabotaged me turned my gears all the way screwed up and and loosened up the drag and everything but yeah i'd say i'm pretty well screwed to be honest we'll see how this goes but i better tighten my drag down and pray that cole didn't screw me too bad i guess cole what are you throwing you're starting with the uh, C15. C15. Cole's going deep. Sobs juice. Sobs juice. We're over at this spot where we fished offshore. It's a high spot with some some hard bottom where we won the tournament last week. There was another guy actually that was a loyal viewer that's sitting on the other spot. So we will see how that plays out. He'll probably be there all day since he caught one small one. Uh, casting. This is... <laughs> Not quite like the old Corrado, Cole. I know it probably surprises you. The SLX DC. Just a hair off. I want to rip a big on it and see what it feels like. Here's the old bait we're using. I mean, I'm starting with the C10. Cole's throwing a C15, but mine's that mudgill color where I caught most of those fish. It's a nice color for this watercolor because you can only see about six inches to a foot down there. So a lot of bluegill in this leg. This guy stands out nice to him. Be nice if I could cast far enough to get it to hit the bottom. Still haven't hit the juice yet. Cole, is this a numbers challenge? What are we doing? Numbers challenge? Numbers? Numbers or what? Let's do biggest. Biggest? Easy. Better get that off zero. Come on, Mr. Try on. Oh yeah. Fresh line. It works. Did you put my knob holder things on it? Nope, <laughs> they're still in the back. Cole, I talk about did. a disadvantage. Uh -oh. ah. That cast is about where I caught the big. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a gigantor, dude. dude. That's a giant. I'm not even kidding. Oh, never mind. I just hooked it. <laughs> I hooked it, buddy. I was like, that's the one, coleslaw. Oh, that's a giant dude. one. He's freaking hooked funky or something because it's just like dead weight. I bet you want help with him, don't you? I need help cutting your line maybe, Cole. That's about it. What is wrong with this no fish? Kidding. Jesus. He's taking me out to sea. Ugh. Hooked him in the gill plate. Get in here. Should I weigh him for big fish so far? You didn't catch him. Cole, I did not use your shitty methods of snagging. All right, it's Cole says big fish challenge, so we're weighing this some bitch. All right, here we go. Four, <laughs> two pounds, four ounces. That's big fish so far. Fought like a twelve pounder. Catch one, Cole. I was wondering, I, dude. Dude, I felt something. That does not count as a fish. I felt something. You know what? I'll give I that to so you. I was so confused. Cool. Look at that. PB bluegill? Just about. PB smallest. Wow. I hooked him through the tail. That <laughs> How is, does that even happen? Truthfully, that's incredible cool. It was. Good job. Coolest catch of the day so far. There we oh. go, coleslaw. There we go, coleslaw. What you know about that? I felt tick, 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 little blue heads. And then boom. A bass head. Don't cast over there. There's no more. I'm gonna have to weigh that one, Cole, just to see. I don't want to lose to you by an ounce because I freaking <laughs> don't weigh one. Uh oh, I think the scale's broken. That means that I automatically win because we will never know how much yours weighs. I'm just kidding, Cole. It works now. Folks at home, there you go. Two. Just a two. 
fun, fun guy. I'm throwing the different dude now. I was just telling Coleslaw, Cole gave me a disadvantage and put, he thought he was gonna be a smart ass and put these big knobs on there like that. I kind of like it, joke's on him. I'll be honest, I do not hate these reels. There's a high spot here with all these bluegill beds on it and so you get pecked like crazy in the beds, but then when you, I threw that off the edge and I had that one pick it up out deeper. That day I came here with Becky and pre-fished, I oh. oh. What was that? Might've been a catfish or something. That was large. What the hell? When they pull back like that. Yeah. That was not small. That ain't a bluegill. He's a sideways guy too. It's because he's got friends in there is the thing. Mine are bluegills. Cole's are bluegills. He's throwing the little baby dick for him. Cole, I don't care if I got a $1 reel or you got a million dollar reel. Whooping you. Look at that fat guy. He's feeding up. He's built like I am. Pregnant. Big bass rigs, but not numbers. Yeah, anymore. no kidding. Why is this not numbers, by the because way? I know how I fish when I'm with you, and I know that my chances are one big one. Yeah, that greater. is so stupid. Oh my god. Cracking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're swimming away with it. I'm like, oh yeah, a bite. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. Whipping it with their tails. This pile's like disintegrated. Barely anything there anymore. What? Yep, that's just happened, Cole. I just won myself flicker <laughs> shad. That's a flicker shad, right? Yep. It's, it's in smallmouth throws too. It's got some <laughs> pink on it, dude. Congratulations, Cole. Put that there for you. <laughs> Getting dingle dong. Look at him on the thing. Maybe put on like a brush hog. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, why did I tell you to put that brush hog on? No, Cole ain't messing around either. Look at him go, he's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Damn it, that ain't 2-4 though, is it? Nope. Ha! <laughs> hey, Slaw's on the board. We only got about a half hour left. Been way slower today, but. I can't flip him on the unicorn. <laughs> yeah, you were scared? I don't want to break your rod. That's a lie. No. He ain't getting there, is he? Nope. We better check him though. He's fat. Come on, way more. What's the word, Slaw? 114, don't even lie. I can see it on there, you dickhead. New Empire Jerky flavor. We just got this in the mail, carne asada. Coleslaw? Good. Fan, not too spicy. Not like devil's anus or whatever that one was called. It looks like it's got all sorts of spices in there, but tastes like a Mexican meal. Man, that's freaking tasty. That is good. Yeah, bat. All right, welcome back to day number two. Um, the, the previous day did not go so well. We didn't catch very many fish, and we wanted to end the video on a little bit more of a bang than that. Not only are we going to be giving away something at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that, but we wanted to give Coleslaw the, the snagging cameraman, the angry millennial snagging cameraman, another chance to beat what wasn't that big of a fish, but the biggest fish so far is two pounds, four ounces. I have what, a 190? You have a 190. or something like that. Hey, you said number challenge before, and I'd be whooping you with that too, Coleslaw, so. You're right. At least you got your good luck charm here today. Exactly, that's why I brought him, so. <laughs> Time to stick a big. Yeah, new lake, new conditions. Um, I think we're gonna do better today. At least catch more fish. Got some, some rain that just went through. Hopefully do some topwater frogging. I actually switched over in the parking lot this morning. Put some 65 pound braid on the old $40 try on. So I, I plan to set the hook hard and it'll be like, <laughs> but who knows? They've performed pretty well so far. Let's see if we can keep that up. All right, so I'm throwing the six cents frog. Cue the comments, MFers. Why well, is the frog gonna be available? Do you have an exact release date? I don't blame you guys. I wouldn't wanna be watching these videos and seeing me catch donks and talk about it. it's the best damn frog in the history of frogs and not be able to purchase them but hey soon in the next couple weeks they will be available and then i'm gonna try to buy every single one that exists so you guys can't have any notice i tied braid and a frog and everything on my pole yet didn't do anything for you to help you out but you can use my frog rod cool that's a fish cole i got one on i have a fish on i can't even believe it it's not even a small one 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're back. We were just talking some trash to him. No, I don't think that's going to be at 2-4. Switched over to a chatterbait on the freaking... He's a fat guy. God dang it, Cole. Well, thanks for playing, bud. I don't think you would have helped me, but... Cole, you're throwing a swim jig? Well, I don't know. We tried some frogging, some offshore stuff, but here we are, like usual. Grass lines. I'm throwing a chatterbait. Wind's blowing on the bank. It's cloudy. Makes sense. I tried to shake that one off. I thought he was some grass. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. Yep. Them off I know. And then you catch them. You gotta shake them just right so it hooks them. Is it a fish? It's not a fish. Is it a fish? What? How's that for some grass, coleslaw? What is that, dude? This is a largemouth bass. I don't know if you've ever seen one before. Here. You gonna, in over there so I can catch. You gonna catch him? Sorry, Cole. Sorry, Cole. These aren't big guys, but man, they're fat, healthy. They're eating them gills down there. Not gonna help me. You're right, Cole. It helps my emotional state, though. Just knowing that I'm ripping them. So we had that storm go through, and now it's a straight up freaking post frontal north wind poop hole. So we went from chatter bay, and now we're back dragging again. That ain't a splue jill coleslaw. There's a bass, one bass on it. Are you kidding me? No, this is not a joke, Cole. You know what, Cole? This pretty much proves it. $40 reels are better than $400 reels. Yeah. This until, video proved it. Until I catch a bigger one. Until you catch a bigger one, then it's not. Got it, check. More expensive reels catch bigger fish. You heard it here first. I'd be like, come here. I'm gonna catch one of those blue gills. We're gonna hold on. What? Are you kidding me right now? This ain't a joke, Coleslaw. This ain't a joke. I got him fired. I got the school freaking going. Are you joke right now. Cole's getting bluegill That's pecks. Over. No. Nope, he's not. He's just a little guy. Not that it matters. You ain't gonna catch one. <laughs> That's actually a true. Let me hold him. Cole, you ain't going home smelling like fish if you don't catch them yourself. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh God. Cole, at least what you caught the smallest one on the lake. And he's half dead. Yeah. Were you just giving it the patented ripping off the bottom method for that one? Is that how you finally got one? <laughs> Basically. That thing's like black. A, it doesn't even have a line, damn it. That's a weird fish. Oh. Why'd you catch such a weird one, Cole? School's fired, where's the big? They ate it. He ate the stupid tube thing. Ooh. He might help. He might help me. Just had to tie on the stupid tube thing. Nah, he ain't gonna get there, dude. I don't think so. He shrunk. He got substantially smaller all of a sudden. One three. Right. No, it's not, but it's not way bigger, so I don't care. And I'm gonna keep throwing in there because I know there's a gigantor in there somewhere. I liked the way he ate that. This is called front ending. You guys asked for it that Cole got first right to the front of the boat, and here it is. <laughs> now, I would understand that if you were winning this challenge, but you might want to focus on yourself, Cole. Oh, God, he's ripping. No, dude, they're all bluegills. Those are bluegills, yeah. Look. You're not, dude, you're not <laughs> ripping right. You gotta rip it just right to get the bass. You guys catch them all? Wait a minute, are you mill, wait a minute, are you mill get fishing? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, dude, I freaking love your videos. Well, that's awesome, I appreciate you guys watching. Do a little fishing challenge with our reels. We did a cheap versus expensive reel challenge. I lost. Cole lost, per the usual. <laughs> We're just getting finished up. I got this reel if you guys want it. Yes, please. Since you're loyal viewers. Hey, God. <laughs> Didn't I just say that was going to happen? You did. <laughs> well, we tried. Dang it. I should have probably handed it to you. <laughs> it's whatever. 
<laughs> you gonna swim for it, Cole? Actually, we might be able to put the net down. This place is really pressured. Uh, I think I've got two off the dock and one from like that little cove area. Any luck, Cole? Mm -hmm. Look at you. Oh Good as new. Basically. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, dog. Yeah, I'll just let that dry out a little bit. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, would you like oh, yeah, a rock? Like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, guys. Well, my man over there at the boat ramp kind of had some butter fingers, but as usual, Cole Sloth, the camera guy, saved the day with the freaking net scoop. Now he gets to go home with one of the reels we went out and bought, and I want you guys to go home with uh, the other one. So I'm gonna give this guy away too, like I said I would at the end of the video. Let's uh, let's make it simple, same as MF for the day. Just comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see moving forward, and then uh, just be a subscriber. That's all I gotta do. Turn the notification bell on. Very very simple steps. And then one of the next coming videos, we'll just put the winner, the giveaway winner, um, probably as like the MF for the day. So be checking back for that. You know the difference between these 40 and 50 dollar reels and those expensive 350 to 450 dollar reels that coleslaw was using um basically i'm a i'm just a substantially better looking and better fisherman than coleslaw i think is why i won the challenge but the difference was with these guys is that uh they're not going to hold up over time um, the casting distance honestly was a little bit lacking you could definitely cast further because of the braking system and everything we're more high tech but honestly if you want to go out and buy a couple of reels that are super cheap that you can go start on bait casting this black max and the flu your try on were actually really good reels um i was happy with them i don't know if they'll hold up over time so that'll be the true test but next thing i want to try is i want to go back to shields coleslaw and i want to buy the most expensive metanium dc what was it 600 bucks i, I think, think it was yeah 580 or something, 580 or something yeah. like that i want to go out and buy that so if this video gets 5,000 thumbs ups i'm going to go back to shields we'll buy the most expensive reel that i think you can buy pretty much anywhere in any store besides going online and getting like a straight up jdm reel we'll go get a shimano metanium dc and test that out and see what uh what that's all about if you guys want to see that but thanks so much for watching this from Evers. out of here